When the call for action comes, these firefighters in northern Israel have less than a minute to jump into action. But where the main danger used to be the flames, now it's the rockets. Now the war is much more difficult because a firefighter also has to think about how he solves the incident, how he carries out the mission in the complex arena, in the dangerous area. And on the other hand, he has to open his eyes, to look wide, to listen. He has to look at the sky so he doesn't have a rocket on his head. Battling a blaze under constant attacks from Hezbollah in Lebanon. It's hard for us. We've known this area for decades. As a result of rocket fire by Hezbollah, one rocket shot landed here in the area, as you can see below. It set the forest on fire here, and we fought for dozens of hours to prevent greater damage. Since the beginning of the year, more than 25,000 acres of land had burned across northern Israel, leaving trees like this completely burnt to a crisp, ash all over the ground. And it's up to the firefighters to try and come here and put out the blaze. It's not one fire. If 50 rockets are fired, then there will probably be 60 fires. Why? Because the speed of the fragments of fire. So we find ourselves in multi-scene events where there are many, many focal points. Due to the constant threat, the Galil Golan station has more than doubled its forces, with teams filling in from all across Israel. At this stage, we have teams from Tel Aviv, Ramat Gan, Herzliya, from all over the country who are coming so that we can actually deal with the task. Plus an outpouring of help from outside organizations. Jewish National Fund USA is the only organization in the world that can actually donate funds towards equipment and fire trucks to the firefighters here in Israel. JNF USA has commissioned 18 new fire trucks across Israel since the beginning of the year. The needs come from the ground to us, and we just help facilitate, make sure that they get the funds that they need in order to be able to purchase the equipment and go out and fight the fires and everything else that they do. For a region surrounded by three international borders, Lebanon, Syria, and Jordan, the area is no stranger to attacks from its neighbors. But these past nine months are unlike anything the firefighters have experienced in the north. The second Lebanon war was 33 days, a relatively short war compared to today. Compared to the Lebanon war, the intensity here is much, much higher. It's much more difficult. Something different is all the projectiles that are being fired at us today, beyond the rockets that were in the Lebanon war. Today there's the challenge of Katyusha rockets and accurate shooting. And we are operating on the contact line in the settlements close to the border fence. A region where tens of thousands of residents have been evacuated for months. All the houses are empty, but there are soldiers in these areas, and we have to protect them. In addition to the routine, if a fire breaks out in someone's yard, a citizen usually calls and informs us. But here we don't have a citizen to inform us. We only recognize it once it's big, so the message reaches us late. If they get a call, they have 60 seconds to get fully dressed in all of their gear. That's why all of the pants, the boots, they're ready right here by the fire truck, ready to go. And now what's new since the war is it's not only the fire gear, it's also protective gear, like a vest to protect them from all the incoming rockets and missiles as well. And I'm taking much longer than they would. What's my time? 60 seconds to run towards the fire. All will weigh down by dozens of pounds of field and forest protective gear in temperatures upwards of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. You need to put a vest on you now. You see how hard it is. Now take this vest, eight hours going down, up, down, up, with water hoses. It makes for something inhumane. But despite the new challenges, the fighters aren't deterred and say they're prepared for whatever comes next in the north. I grew up here. I feel like I'm protecting the house where I grew up. And I think it's one of the most important tasks that I, at least as a commander, can do. In the end, there is a mission here to protect the land of Israel and to protect the north. We are doing that. Reporting in northern Israel, Nicole Zedek for I-24 News.